Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I got to say, this, uh, this delusional ex is already making me laugh, you guys. Um, they're very delusional. They're about to come back in. They don't want to talk about the past. They don't even want to give you an apology, Cancer. They're, they just want to start over, okay? Um, the song that I'm getting for your reading is Starting Over by John Lennon. And it's the backup singers that have me cracking up, actually, because this person is like in la-la land, you know? Anyway, um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, Cancer, for everything. Thank you for all of the comments, all the confirmations, you guys. Thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys rock. Welcome to everybody new here. And um, Cancer, don't forget about the giveaway. Stick with me to the end of the reading. At the end of the reading, I'm going to tell you guys all of the details we're going to go through all of the prizes, you know. Um, so, yeah, if you want the giveaway information, it's at the end of the video, okay? <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, the song I'm getting is Starting Over by John Lennon, and it's the backup singers that have me laughing, okay, because they're in the background going, la, la, la. Yeah, this person is in La La Land. They're, um, they've got it in their head, Cancer, that they can come back in. See, they've got this, this um, made-up image in their mind, this vision that they're going to come back in. You're going to fall into their arms. They're not going to have to apologize or explain anything that they did to you. They're just going to be like, um, you know, why don't we take a, a, why don't we take off alone? Take a trip somewhere from far away. We'll be together all alone again. And while he's saying all this, I'm hearing la, la, la. <laughs> like we used to in the early days. Yeah, Cancer, they don't want to apologize or anything. This person is so arrogant. Um, they've got a huge ego. Look, their pants are already undone, Cancer. <laughs> You know, and I feel like you're going to be standing there straight faced like you've got to be kidding me. OK, you may even start laughing because I just feel like laughing at this. I'm so sorry. Um, but this person, it's ridiculous. You know, here they, they put you in a third party. They um, they came in and they played you. OK, they kept you a dirty little secret or tried to keep you a secret. Okay, they were two-faced, they were a cheater, they were a backstabber, they betrayed you, and now this person's coming in with their pants undone, wanting to take you on a trip. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. And they think that you're gonna be like, okay, fall into their arms, you know. Um, they think that they can just sweep you off your feet, Cancer. And that's what they want to do. And here's the thing, denial, excuses, okay? They want to, they want to run from um, accountability. They want to run from their responsibilities and that they're responsible for breaking your heart, but they don't even want to apologize. They just want to come back in with their pants undone and take you on a trip. You know, mm, I don't like this at all. They may want to go to Vegas. There's mention of Vegas here. Shout out to Vegas. Yeah, Cancer. You're going to be looking at them straight faced. Like there's going to be no emotional reaction from you. You're going to see that this is ridiculous as well. I'm as I hold this card, I'm actually feeling somebody holding back their laughter. OK, <laughs> when you see this person, um, they are so delusional. And, and they think you're going to fall for this, okay? Because they do not want to talk about the past. They don't want to take blame. Yeah, and that's the truth. That's the truth. Cancer, I feel like, too, with this Ace of Swords out here, you're not playing, okay? You're not, you're not going to be thinking that this is... Uh... <laughs> you're not going to be thinking this is a good idea, for sure. And you may have some choice words for this person. I feel like, um, yeah, you're going to be, 
giving them that ace of swords yeah here they come all kinds of immature delusional yeah cancer i don't want to accept accountability i don't want to apologize i don't want you to be like blaming me there's no one to blame they say it in the song there's no one to blame i see something about i know how time flies so quickly okay um yeah and you're gonna be like get out of here you're this is a definite no you're gonna see this person as so immature you know after you talk to them cancer i feel like you're just you're gonna go back inside your house and just start laughing i because it's just look at they're de they're delusional they're delusional and this person has missed their chance with you okay this is a a two-faced manipulative egotistical masculine okay you could be dealing with the fire sign leo aries sagittarius heavy sagittarius you could be dealing with um a gemini as well maybe a, another cancer yeah yeah, see, they don't want to apologize, Cancer. They don't want to explain themselves. And if they do give you an apology, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a crappy little apology. Like, yeah, sorry about that, but let's take off and fly away somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like we used to in the early days, right? <sighs> Yeah, John Lennon starting over. This person just wants a restart with you. They they don't want to make amends. Yeah, starting over. That's what this is. Ace of Pentacles. That's what they want. They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They don't want to apologize, really. They don't want to explain what they did. They don't want to, to take accountability. Okay? This is just somebody who wants to take some action, start over, get you back, expecting, oh, you'll just forget about all the heartache, the betrayal, the cheating, the, you know. They're going to undo their pants a little bit, Cancer. Yeah, can we just start over? That's what this is. Can we just start over? Show me more. Cancer, you're going to see that this is, you're going to be like, I've already started over. I've already started over a new life for myself. I'm already over this, Cancer. This is also travel. Yeah, you could be dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, masculine. Here you are, Cancer. Yeah, I've already started over, says Cancer. They're not going to know what to say. I feel like you're going to, that's exactly what you're going to tell them. I've already started over. I've started a new life. I'm moving on. I'm over this. I'm releasing you. I'm not going on a trip with you. Maybe you may even say, you know what? I'll take the trip on my own by myself, but I'm not going with you. You know, um, they've got a lot of burdens that they're carrying from what they did to you cancer but they don't they don't want to drop the burdens they, they don't well they want to drop the burdens but in order to drop the burdens they have to face them they have to confront them they have to talk about what they've done and they're not doing that so this person's going to be back to square one basically because you're going to tell them to leave or you're going to say no or you're going to say like you know, I've already booked my flight, <laughs> and it's not going to be with you. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Remaining single here, Cancer, because this person is showing up to you like a fool. That's what this is. And this is taking a risk here, a gamble, a risk. Um, but here's the thing. This person thinks that they can just get away with everything that they did. Okay, they think they can just um, saunter back into your life. Okay, they think they can strut back into your life, um, unbutton their, their pants, take you on a trip, and have this whole thing forgotten. 
I feel like Cancer, you've got a mind like a steel trap. You don't forget anything. You remember every detail of what was done to you, even if you don't have all the answers, right? Even if you don't have all the answers, you know your truth. And you you may have forgiven this person or at least, you know, released and let go of it, right? But you don't forget, okay? And that's what this person wants you to do. They just want to show some, you know, airplane tickets, flash some tickets, you know, take you on a trip and think that they can get you right back without taking any accountability. And that's why this person is delusional. And that, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting off of this Nine of Cups. You know, they're in dreamy dreamland making these wishes. This is, this is wish fulfillment or making a wish. Okay, but this person is arrogant, smug, egotistical. They've started third parties, not just the third party they put you in, but I feel like they were um, entertaining other people too during this time of separation. They don't want to talk about any of that either. They don't want to talk about what they did to you. They don't want to talk about what they've been doing while they've been in separation from you. They just want to get away with it, Cancer. They want to get away with it, get you back, have some passion with you, go on a trip with you like we used to in the early days. Yeah, well, those days are over. Cancer, you know what? You've gone through a lot of changes here. You have transformed. And I feel like you are so sick and tired of people messing with your head. Yeah, two of cups energy. Queen of Swords energy, Cancer. I, I'm kind of getting the sense that you're just done with this person. They could have, put, you know, put you in a, some kind of competition. You know, maybe that's what they wanted to feed their ego. Now they want to come back in. Cancer, you could be extremely abundant right now. Very successful, making really good money. Okay, and that may be why they want to come back in. They see you in a time of your life right now where you're on a major glow up. Like you're doing really well here. And they know you're out here single. They don't want anyone else to get with you. So they want to pin this down as quickly as they can. I feel like you're in protection mode. And I really feel like you're going to... It, it, there's something about this that's going to make you want to laugh, okay? You're going to see that they're delusional. Yeah, Earth Angel Energy and Cancer, you're going to be very well balanced. You're going to be absolutely straight-faced, okay? I do feel like you're holding back laughing, okay? <laughs> because they're going to be like, yeah, we can have all of that back, Cancer, you know? Mm-mm. They're going to be, I don't know, it, it almost feels like they're going to be trying really hard not to talk about the past, but um, this person is, they're delusional. They're living in a dreamland, really. It's dreamy dreamland time. <laughs> yeah, dreamy dreamland time. How can I manipulate cancer so that I can get cancer back and take advantage of their money and their abundance and so that I don't have to give them an apology, explain myself, or take any accountability? How can I pull the wool over cancer's eyes? How can I make this happen, right? The magician. Yep. This person, they're in dreamy dreamland, cancer. Yeah, but they're about to show up, okay? They're about to show up. Yeah, how can I get cancer back? This is like their plan. This is also travel. Why don't we take off alone, take a trip somewhere so far away? Yeah, they, they do want to take a trip with you. Wanting to get you back, another beginning in love. I feel like there's something wrong with this person's mind, okay? All right, I really do. 
Like if I can, there's, they're thinking to themselves, if I can just get cancer to take this trip with me, I know we can fall in love all over again. Start it Nova, right? Yeah. More travel here in this picture. They may already have, um, they may already have like travel plans made, okay? A getaway. They want to relax. They want to get away with you, right? Um, planning some kind of trip. But they are in denial. They have no excuses for what they did. They're running from responsibility here. They're running from taking accountability. Um, and here's the thing. They feel like they have to do this cancer because there's just no time left. This person has delayed this. They've procrastinated. They've, um, it says here, too busy, possibly too busy playing around with other people. Okay, they don't have any time left. They got to do something big, drastic, dreamy to try to get you back, and this is it. So this masculine's about to come back around wanting to take you on a trip. Okay, and I feel like there's something here, Cancer. It's either going to make you laugh or you're going to be holding back the laughter. Like, for real, you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're going to cut this person out so quick. So quick. Anyway, my darlings, um, I'm going to take this into Patreon, okay? <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to get funny in Patreon. I'm not sure, but... Um, I'm already wanting to laugh at this. Anyway, if you're interested in the extended, there's a link to follow in the description box below that'll take you straight to Patreon, and I'll meet you guys over there, right? But I want to see um, what what are you going to say to them, you know? And um, are they going to come back around and try this again, okay? I feel like you definitely turn this person away. You turn them, if they're not going to give you a sincere apology, I don't think you're going to give them the time of day. But um, I feel like they're going to be back. Okay, so yeah, if you're interested in that, check me out on Patreon, guys. I'll meet you there. And um, yeah, Cancer, yeah. this is going to make you want to laugh. Okay, um, just take what resonates. And uh yeah, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, Cancer. Join this awesome, awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.